Hey, what's up? This is Zach King from FinalCutKing.com, and I'm back with a Final Cut 10 tutorial. Actually, this is going to be more of a quick tip. And going over the Pleasantville effect, or some call it the Sin City effect, and it's the effect where you have one color that stands out, maybe it's a red, maybe it's a green, whatever, and you have the background from that color desaturated, all black and white. So I'm going to show you how to do it just in a couple minutes. Actually, it's only a couple clicks. It's very simple. So I'll show you how. So I've got this picture you can download for free and follow along with, or try one of your own. It also works with video. But in the case of this video, I'm going to go with an example, my sister Megan in this cute little red car. And it's perfect because this red is a very vibrant color. So let's go ahead and come into our Inspector tab. You can open this right here by clicking this. And then we'll go ahead and click this little eyedropper plus button on the Color Correction 1 tab. If you click this and make sure you hold down when you select your color and you can get that range like that and then go and click this little next arrow and we're gonna click the button here that says mask outside go to saturation and bring this master saturation down and you'll see the color you selected is gonna be here but we're not quite getting all of it so maybe you want to make a selection somewhere else and drag open to get everything if you hold down shift you can select even more so maybe hold down shift and you'll see what that did even the bricks in the background got selected because they have a slight red hue in them but we're gonna only select Megan and the car here from the background and make even the other things that are red be desaturated just by adding a mask now click this little shape mask here it adds it to the frame you'll see we have the option of a circle or you can change it if you drag this little white button and it creates to a square so I'm gonna use the square for the car that's great let's expand it open and see how it's getting a little bit of the curve we don't want that so this outer feather we're gonna bring it in here real nice and tight against the car make the adjustments as necessary and there we have our nice area I'm gonna bring this down too because we don't want that fire pole in the background getting its red glory let's add one more and we will put this over Megan just stretch it around make the shape that we need and voila there is the Pleasantville effect with the two masks the square and semicircle one around Megan you'll see if this were a moving shot we could keyframe the mask to follow the position the way we would do that is let's say it starts the animation here select the mask hit this little add keyframe button go to where the frame would move and adjust it and you'll see now we have an animated mask so I hope that was a neat little trick in Final Cut 10 for you. If you want to download the project file, it's free, and it comes with this little picture you can play along with. And if you need any more Final Cut 10 training, hit up my website, finalcutking.com. Until next time, be good.